everyone and welcome to Rajput Jain Associates. Today in this video we will discuss about place and office registration in India. So first of all it is important to know the meaning of place and office. As India is rapidly growing and progressing economy in the world, every other multinational company is willing to establish their office in India for undertaking expansion and diversification. A liaison office basically acts as communication channel between the foreign company investor and prospective buyers, customers or prospective vendors in India without undertaking businesses in India. As per the FEMA regulation, liaison office means a place of business established in India in order to act as a channel of communication between the foreign company and companies incorporated and established in India. However, these offices are not allowed to undertake any commercial, trading, industrial activity directly or indirectly and are required to receive all their inward through normal banking channel only. Now, who are the regulators under Laysan Office Registration? The Foreign Exchange Management Act governs the application and approval process for setting up of Laysan or branch office in India. Foreign insurance companies can set up Laysan office in India after obtaining approval from Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority. Foreign banks can establish Laysan office in India only if they get approval from the Department of Banking Regulation RBI. Now having discussed about the meaning and regulators of Laysan office, we will now discuss about the prerequisites required for establishing Laysan office in India. The parent entity of Laysan office shall have a profit making track record during the immediately preceding three financial years in the home country. Also the said entity shall have minimum net worth of USD 50,000 being attested by an auditor. Now there are certain specified activities which a license office can perform. These activities are it can represent the parent company in India, it can promote export and import from and to India, it can promote the technical or financial collaborations between Indian companies and parent or overseas group company. Also, the liaison office can act as a communication channel and can render insurance activities in India after getting IRDA approval. There are some activities that liaison office are not permitted to do like entering into a contract with any party in India, rendering consultancy or any other services directly or indirectly with or without consideration to anyone in India, borrowing or lending any money from or to any person in India without RBI's permission. So where an entity fulfills all the above mentioned criteria, they shall follow the following steps to get their office established. First of all, the applicant is required to file an application with RBI to the authorized AD bank. The foreign company's liaison office application is required to be filled in form FNC. The application is required to be submitted through AD bank to the Reserve Bank of India. The AD bank plays a crucial function since it is through them that all the communication with RBI takes place. The next step is the verification of KYC from banker or parent company. A request for document examination is issued to the banker of the foreign firm. The process of sending requests for verification purpose is called SWIFT based verification. Once the foreign lender validates the documentation, the application is sent to RBI for approval. The RBI may also request other documentation depending on the circumstances. Once the approval of RBI for liaison office registration in India is granted, a particular policy is followed for approving the liaison office in India by AD Banker. Priority is given to the cases where the automatic route is not available. Then registration of liaison office with ROC. Once the company is incorporated in India, 
The same is required to open a bank account with AD Bank and the amount of FDI be channelized through that particular account only. Then comes the PAN card tax deduction number and opening of a bank account. After incorporation, the entity is required to obtain PAN from Income Tax Department. Once PAN is issued in the name of the entity, the same is used for opening a bank account with AD Bank. Last step is obtaining of GST registration and import export code. After opening of a bank account, the entity is required to apply for GST registration and import export code since they are in some way providing services to their parent company. Now, in order to proceed with the above process, the applicant shall be in receipt of certain documents. So the documents required for establishing license office in India are first one is English version of certificate of incorporation or registration and MOA and AOA of the parent company and also the audited financial statements of the entity. Now the above mentioned documents are required to be attested by Indian embassy or functionary in country of registration outside India. Next is letter of comfort a letter of comfort shall be issued by parent company in case applicant does not satisfy the eligibility criteria of net worth or profit record the due diligence designated ad category one bank is required to carry due diligence in respect of applicants background antecedents of the promoter nature and placement of activity source of fund and the compliance in respect of KYC norms. And lastly, the allotment of UIN. The RBI is also required to allot unique identification number to the liaison office. So this was all about liaison office registration in India. For any query or service related to liaison office, contact Rajput Jain and Associates. Thank you.